Warning, it is important that prior to performing this or any other safety or service procedure on any Heil product, that the person performing the work has both read and firmly understands the parts and service manual as well as the product operator's manual, including the detailed safety instructions that accompanied this vehicle. If there is anything that is unclear or that you don't understand, do not attempt to operate the vehicle or perform any of the service or maintenance tasks called out in this video. Quarantine the area, walk away from the vehicle, and contact your supervisor immediately for clarification. It is also important to ensure you are wearing the appropriate personal protective equipment, hereafter referred to as PPE, prior to beginning this or any other service or maintenance procedure. Hey, I'm Travis Wallen, the service guru here at Heil Environmental in beautiful Fort Payne, Alabama. Thanks for joining me at the Service Shack. Today we're going to talk about preventative maintenance that you can make to ensure your Heil Python arm is route ready every day. Your Python automated side loader is a highly productive piece of equipment capable of picking up 1,600 homes per day or more. But that level of productivity is dependent upon daily, weekly, and monthly preventative maintenance. Without your arm functioning correctly, the productivity of your unit will be impacted. Scheduled periodic maintenance will ensure that your Python performs like the day it was first entered into service. Normal maintenance intervals are based on eight hour day and average operating conditions. Severe use or adverse conditions will make it necessary to do this maintenance more frequently. So let's get started on your Heil Python Arm Preventative Maintenance. The following is a daily checklist that is crucial to maintaining the life of your Python Arm. While performing your pre-trip inspection, be sure to look for hydraulic leaks, check the hydraulic oil level, report any worn or failed components, and also check the arm operations to ensure it is performing correctly. It's also crucial to grease all lift grease zerks twice per week or every 20 hours. If you're not sure of the grease zerk locations, reference the chart in your service manual or the decal on the side of your unit body. The following is a checklist that you should perform every week or every 40 hours. Check the pin retaining bolts to ensure they are in place and not broken. This may indicate bearing or pin damage. If you find one that's worn or broken, Replace the bearing, pin, and retaining bolt. Check hydraulic plumbing. Check hoses, tubes, and fittings for damage, wear, or leaks. Replace as necessary. Note, do not replace steel tubes with hoses. Important, do not replace hoses with different sizes. This will cause inconsistent hydraulic reaction. Check mounts. Make sure the chassis rail is undamaged. Make sure chassis bolts are present and tight. Check brackets for cracks. Make sure lift bolts are present and secure. Check lift mount base bolts. Visually inspect the mounting bolts for security and movement. Check the nuts and bolts to make sure the weld is secure. Check for lift stress or weld cracks. Inspect the Python arm for any structural cracks or cracks in the areas of welds. Cracks must be ground out and repaired. If cracking continues, replace the affected parts. Check Python grabber assembly and belt. Check for wear, cuts, or damage. Replace if any of these conditions are present. If you notice loose play in your grabbers, you may want to check the torque on the grabber gear pin retaining nuts. You will remove the cotter pins in the slotted nut to do this, you'll need some pliers and a slotted screwdriver. To check the torque on the slotted nuts, you'll need a torque wrench set at 100 foot-pounds and a one and a half inch socket. You may need to turn the slotted nut slightly more to line up the hole to replace the cotter pin. Once you've got those cotter pins in place, take your pliers and bend the end of the cotter pin back over the top of the nut. The following is a checklist that you should perform once a month or every 200 hours. Check the grabber cylinder pivot bolt. Check to ensure the pivot bolt is tight. To tighten the grabber cylinder pivot pin, 
you will need two one and a half inch wrenches. Lift, stowed, and grabber open proc switches. To make grabber open proc switch adjustments, you'll need a 15 16 wrench. Adjust the proximity switches to deactivate if the grabber or arms are extended outside the width of the vehicle. The grabber open procs should be adjusted so it is activated when the grabbers are fully open. To make adjustments to the lift in or stow proc switch, you will need a 7 16 inch wrench. The lift stow procs should be adjusted so that it is activated when the lift arm is fully stowed or retracted. You should check and adjust the pressures on your Python lift arm valve twice per year or 1000 hours. Before checking your pressures, you will need to put the lift arm in manual mode. To do this, make sure the key switch is on, the system power button is on, then hold the grabber closed and grabber open buttons at the same time until the alarm stops sounding. Before checking or adjusting the pressure settings, you will need to find a properly trained technician to help you. When you're able to recruit some help, create hand signals to use while working together. Nonverbal communications will be key to keeping yourself and any bystanders safe while working with the Python lift arm. The trained technician will operate the controls from inside the cab while you will be working on the pressure settings from the street side. Warning, always be sure that both you and your help are aware of any bystanders before attempting to operate the lift arm. For added precaution, quarantine the area from any bystanders. There are seven pressures on the lift valve that you need to check. The pressure settings are as follows. Main relief valve pressure, 2300 PSI. Lift extend port relief valve, 1250 PSI. Lift retract port relief valve, 2500 PSI. Lift raise port relief valve, 2500 PSI. Lift lower port relief valve, 1250 PSI. Grabber open port relief, 1250 PSI. Grabber close port relief, 1250 PSI. When checking pressures, connect a 0 to 5,000 PSI pressure gauge to the gauge port on the inlet of the valve. To check the main relief on the lift valve, deadhead any function that has a higher set point, like lift retract or lift raise, and hold that function while monitoring the pressure gauge. Deadheading is when you extend or retract a cylinder to its maximum mechanical limit and continue to maintain pressure for that circuit. To make adjustments to the main relief, you will need to loosen the jam nut with a one and a half inch wrench. To make the adjustment, you will need a half inch hex wrench or a socket with ratchet. To check the lift raise and lift retract port relief valves, you will need to raise the main relief one half turn clockwise so that it is high enough to allow you to see the 2500 PSI. Check all port reliefs by deadheading each function one by one. To make adjustments to the lift lower or lift raise port relief valve, you will need to loosen the jam nut with a 15 16 wrench and then make the adjustment with a slotted socket bit or a large slotted screwdriver. To make pressure adjustments to the lift extend, lift retract, grabber open or grabber close port relief valves, you will need to loosen those jam nuts using a 7 16 inch wrench and make the adjustment with an 8 inch wrench or socket with a ratchet. After making pressure relief adjustments, you will need to bring the main relief setting back down to 2300 PSI. To do this, view your pressure gauge while deadheading lift retract. Lower the main relief until the gauge reads 2300 PSI and then tighten that jam nut. After making pressure adjustments, make sure that you have tightened all the jam nuts for all the port relief valves. Now that you've checked and set all of your port relief valves, it's time for cleanup. Remove your pressure gauge, replace that dust cover over the gauge port, and wipe down the work area. 
Now that we're done setting the pressures, if so desired, you can return to automated mode. To turn on the automated mode, make sure your key switch is on, your system power button is on, and then simply hold down the grab close and grab open buttons at the same time until the alarm stops sounding. That does it. Now you know the preventative maintenance that you can use on your Heil Python automated side loader arm. If you still have questions, contact Heil Technical Services at 866-310-4345. Remember, we're here to help in any way we can. So be safe out there, and we'll see you next time, here at the Service Shack.